Humanoid robots are throwing flying kicks and working factory shifts. AI systems are learning the way human brains do. Full apps are being built in minutes instead of months. And OpenAI is preparing a physical device that could quietly redefine how people interact with AI every day. These are not disconnected headlines or distant promises. They are active signals that artificial intelligence is crossing a threshold, moving from tools we open on screens to systems that live, move, listen, and adapt alongside us. Welcome back to AI Run the Show, where we break down the real shifts shaping the future of artificial intelligence beyond hype and demos. Today's episode connects four major developments that together reveal a much larger transformation underway. AI is becoming embodied, adaptive, productized, and strategically embedded into daily life. Humanoid robotics has decisively moved past stage demonstrations and into real-world deployment, led by Unitree Robotics and Boston Dynamics. Unitree's H2 humanoid, shown in recent training footage, performs flying kicks, backflips, and high-impact strikes with fluid, human-like motion. Standing around 6 feet tall and weighing roughly 70 kilograms, the H2 features 31 degrees of freedom and high torque joints that allow explosive movement while maintaining balance and stability. The movements are not stitched together animations. They flow continuously, showing real-time control across the entire body. What matters even more than the acrobatics are the quieter upgrades. Redesigned arms and more dexterous hands signal a pivot toward practical manipulation tasks in factories, warehouses, and logistics centers. Teleoperation using mixed reality headsets allows human operators to control the robot while generating valuable training data at the same time, accelerating learning and deployment. This is no longer about teaching robots in isolation. It is about integrating human judgment directly into machine learning loops. At the same time, Unitree's smaller G1 humanoid appeared on live financial television discussing the AI boom. That moment was subtle but important. A humanoid robot participating naturally in public discourse signals normalization. The G1 is already commercially available in the United States, shipping to customers at prices ranging from under $9,000 to over $120,000. These robots are operating outside research labs, inside real businesses, and in public-facing environments. This momentum is reinforced by Boston Dynamics, which unveiled a redesigned Atlas humanoid at CES 2026 with a clear industrial focus. The new Atlas emphasizes reliability and scalability rather than spectacle. Simplified hardware, rotary actuators, modular limbs, and factory-ready durability define the design. The robot is built to lift heavy loads, operate across wide temperature ranges, resist water and dust, and be serviced quickly in industrial environments. Production is set to begin immediately, and all 2026 deployments are already committed to partners such as Hyundai and Google DeepMind. CES 2026 itself reflected a broader industry transition, with humanoid robots dominating the show floor and China presenting the largest concentration of deployable systems rather than concept prototypes. Supply chains, production schedules, and customer commitments are now the core conversation. With Unitree reportedly eyeing an IPO valued around $7 billion and competitors accelerating production roadmaps, humanoid robots are no longer experimental curiosities. They are becoming standardized machines entering factories, logistics hubs, and public spaces at scale. While robots advance physically, artificial intelligence is evolving cognitively. Traditional AI systems excel at structured, repetitive tasks but struggle when environments change unexpectedly. Neuroscience is helping close this gap by revealing how the human brain adapts through neuroplasticity, the ability to reorganize itself by forming new connections in response to experience. By studying neurons, synapses, and learning pathways, Researchers are building AI systems that learn from feedback, adapt to new inputs, and improve over time without being explicitly programmed for every situation. Brain-inspired neural networks are already demonstrating this potential in complex, unpredictable environments. Instead of rigid rule following, these systems adjust behavior dynamically based on patterns, anomalies, and outcomes. The implications are wide-ranging. In healthcare, 
Adaptive AI can continuously integrate new research and patient data to refine treatment recommendations. In finance, systems can adjust strategies in real time as markets shift. Reinforcement learning and realistic simulations are pushing AI toward more flexible, resilient behavior. This convergence of neuroscience and AI is not only improving performance, but also deepening our understanding of intelligence itself, both human and artificial. That same acceleration is happening in software development. AI-assisted app building promised no-code simplicity for years, but most platforms stalled at prototypes or browser-bound demos. Rocket represents a clear break from that pattern by delivering fully functional, production-ready web and mobile apps from a single natural language prompt. Rocket behaves like an entire product team inside the browser. It generates authentication systems, payment flows, analytics, databases, and live deployment in one continuous process. What sets it apart is speed, stability, and ownership. Changes apply instantly, progress is cumulative rather than fragile, and every line of generated code belongs to the user, exportable to GitHub or self-hosted without platform lock-in. With support for modern stacks like React and Flutter, multi-model AI orchestration, and seamless integrations, Rocket signals a broader shift. Building real software is moving away from long development cycles toward near-instant execution, giving individual creators, founders, and small teams capabilities that once required entire engineering departments. All of these trends converge in OpenAI's most ambitious move yet, its first consumer hardware device, internally known as Gumdrop. Designed by Johnny Ive and manufactured by Foxconn, Gumdrop is a small, screenless, pin-shaped device expected to launch in 2026 or 2027. It relies on voice, audio, and camera input instead of a display and can reportedly transcribe handwritten notes directly into ChatGPT. This device is not meant to replace phones or compete for screen time. It is designed to exist alongside existing devices, capturing context and intent in moments where pulling out a phone feels disruptive. Strategically, Gumdrop addresses OpenAI's biggest vulnerability, distribution. ChatGPT currently depends on operating systems, browsers, and assistants controlled by competitors. A dedicated, always available device creates a direct interaction channel, bypassing app stores and default assistants entirely. This explains OpenAI's parallel push to overhaul its audio models, enabling more natural, overlapping conversation rather than turn-based responses. Financially, Gumdrop appears designed to maximize ecosystem value through subscriptions rather than hardware margins. In a future where AI models converge and intelligence becomes commoditized, controlling access and interaction becomes the decisive advantage. When you connect these four developments, a single pattern emerges. AI is becoming embodied through humanoid robots, adaptive through neuroscience-inspired learning, instantly productive through AI-driven software creation and strategically embedded through hardware designed to control access. The race is no longer just about building smarter models. It is about who controls how humans interact with intelligence in the real world. And that race is already unfolding in real time.